Good evening, teacher. Hello. Only listen. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, guys. Teacher, hey. Mi persona, listen. I got it. Sí, entendí eh, que varios van a estar practicando para el 15 de septiembre. No se preocupen, recuerden que la sesión queda grabada y pues pueden revisarla luego. Me voy a asegurar de enviárselas al grupo de WhatsApp para que no se pierdan este día porque es gramática lo que vamos a ver. Entonces, es muy importante que lo revisen, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, so really quick. Um, let me practice with some of you tonight. So, Martínez, you listen, teacher. Sí, correcto. Comprendo. Bien. Uh, let's go with this. Okay, very good. Thanks. Sorry. No te vamos a dar nada. Espérate, 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 que venga. Y a mí con todo el iglesia. Okay, so let's see, where is it? Here it is. Okay, on your platform yesterday we had a conversation, uh, so I'm gonna practice it with some of you. Let's see if you actually practiced. Let's make sure we have this right. Yes. So we have the conversation. Um, let's see, Edmundo, help me here. Just a minute, let me close something here. Okay, so here we have the conversation. Uh, El Mundo, you are Randy, I'm Emily. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley and she's gorgeous. Repeat, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? Uh, I don't know. She won't tell me. Good. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Good job. Thank you, Mundo. Let's see oh. who else we have here. Jose Amizgar. Tell me, teacher. Okay, ready? You are Randy. Okay, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she is gorgeous. Repeat, gorgeous. Gorgeous. One gorgeous. And she's gorgeous. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Good, gorgeous. Hay que olvidarse de la O. Cuando una Gor palabra gorgeous, termina, gorgeous. Ajá, cuando una palabra termina en o u s como jealous, por ejemplo, jealous, jealous, celoso, se olvida uno de la o en la pronunciación. Jealous, gorgeous, okay. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Okay, thank. You're welcome. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. Very tall. Tall. Mm -hmm. How tall? Very tall. Tall, tall. <laughs> How tall? About six feet two, I'm supposed. I suppose. Very good. I suppose. I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I, I don't know. She won't tell me. Good job. Good job, Jose Amilcar. Thank okay. you. Okay. One more person. Who wants to participate? Anybody else? Alguien más que quiera practicar rapidín? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jose Benjamin. Ready? This time you are Emily and I am Randy. Okay, so one, two, three, go. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. 
Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What do you look? Oh, really? What do you look like? Good. Repeat. Really? 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 What does she look like? What does she look like? Good. Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow. So that is tall. What color is her hair? I repeat, that is tall. That is tall. What color is her that hair? Color is her hair. She has beautiful red hair. Ah, how old is she? And how old is she? And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Thank you. Her name's Ash. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so tonight, tonight we have to talk about grammar. If you noticed, uh, we're describing people. So what do we use? She's in her thirties. To describe people, let me see if How I can. How old is he? He's in his twenties. Prove. Height. How? Age. Okay, so this is the best I can do on the image. Bien, les suplico que traten de tener el micrófono apagado. Solo si van a participar, lo enciendan, porfa. Ok, uh, voy a procurar enviarles esta imagen en este momento al WhatsApp porque no se ve mucho. Y si es necesario que la podamos utilizar. Just a minute. It's important for you to be able to read this. Okay, so it's on your WhatsApp. So how do we describe people? We are going to use the action and the auxiliary does, and this is a simple present. We're gonna use the question, what does she look like? What does he look like? Okay, what do you look like? What do you look like? <clears throat> For example, Right? So this, the way to answer this question is she is or he is very tall. Okay. Hey, okay. Juan Francisco se le está activando el micrófono por algún motivo y, y se escucha la interferencia. Okay. So she is tall. Volvemos al, al uso de el verbo to be. Ok. Al uso del verbo to be sujeto, el verbo to be y un adjetivo. Ok. Podemos ocupar un conector como with para agregar más adjetivos y dar más descripción de la persona. Ok. Y siempre vamos a seguir la misma regla. Sujeto, el verbo to be, podemos contractuar como en el ejemplo. Y como complemento tendríamos siempre adjetivos. It's, it's very simple, actually. So again, you have a subject, the verb to be, and an adjective. Okay? You can separate the description with a comma and join it with with or with other connectors. Okay? Remember, WH questions, what, where, who, why, are open questions. Estas son preguntas abiertas, entonces podemos extendernos en nuestra respuesta. Sin embargo, cuando es una pregunta cerrada, es decir, que inicia con do o does, o el auxiliar del tiempo gramatical que estamos ocupando, solo puedo responder sí o no. Por eso se llaman yes, no questions. Por eso, does he wear glasses? Es una, una pregunta cerrada, no hay otra opción. Solo estoy preguntando si usa dentes o no. Entonces, si digo que sí, yes, coma, and he has a beard, puedo agregar más información. No, ok. No, but he has a beard. No, pero tiene barba. Ok. 
So that's general appearance. La manera general de cómo se mira a alguien, right? So, Edmundo, do you know Jose Amilcar? Yes, I know. I know him. I know him. I know him. Okay, what does he look like? Uh, he is uh, average tall. Uh, uh, average height. Average height, yeah, mm -hmm. average height. Um, middle age. Is middle age? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, and, and general, gen, general appearance, okay. So he's yeah. he's white. Yeah. He's white. He wears. Does he wear glasses? Yes. He 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 wears uh, he wears uh, glasses. Glasses. Okay. Does he have? Does he have silver hair? Uh, he has a gray, a little gray hair. Okay. Good job, good job. <laughs> See, that simple, great job. Okay, yes, yes. about age, la edad, right? In general, how old is he, how old is she? He or she is about, okay, you don't know the age? Okay, he's about 46, he's about 46. He's in his 40s, he's in his 30s, you see? For example, I am, I'm in my 40s. What about you, Jose Milcar? Are you in your 40s or your 50s? Is 53. So you are in your 50s. Right? You are in your 50s. Está en sus cincuentas. Aquí dice, ella está en sus treintas. She's in her thirties. So, I'm in my fifties. Jose Milcar, right? Ah, uh, yes. I'm in my fifties. Okay. He's in his twenties. She's in his thirties. In her thirties. I'm sorry. She's in her thirties. How old is he? Okay. It's the same thing. When you don't know the age, you give a, an estimate. Okay. You cannot be very explicit. Let's continue. That's about the age. About the height, okay? About the height, somebody's height. I'm sorry, height, height, yeah. Somebody's height, let's talk about her, their height. How tall is she or how tall is he? We continue with the verb to be. She is or she's. One meter. One meter, no. 88. Okay. Now, in Latin America, we use meters and centimeters, right? We use meters and centimeters in Latin America. But in the UK and in the United States, most of all, they use feet. Okay. So, one meter 88 is six feet two. Six feet two inches. Seis pies, dos pulgadas. <laughs> okay? Two, two men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's tall. Two, two men, two men, two men uh, 10 centimeters. Yeah? Two, two meters, 10 centimeters? Two centimeters? Really? That's tall. That's really tall. How tall are you? One meter, uh, 80. 180. You're tall. You are taller than me. Mm -hmm. Or four centimeters. <laughs> you are four centimeters taller than me. How about you, Jose Milcar? How tall are you? I'm tall. 68. 168. I'm, repeat, I'm 168 tall. I'm. 168. Um, um, Y68. Uh huh, like this. Um, um, 168. 68. Tall. Um, 
168 tall. Good, good job. Okay. Now, if we don't know exactly how tall someone is, we can say he is or she is quite short. We can say he or she is quite tall. Okay. He is middle, sorry, middle height. His middle height. Okay. Or he is tall, she is tall. He is short, she is short. If you don't know the exact measurement, right? How tall someone is. About the hair. How long is her hair? How long is her hair? How long is his hair? Talking about the hair, it's medium length, it's long, okay? And this is very important. You can describe the hair, okay? Just the way it looks here. But there's something missing. Hay algo que falta acá. So you could say, he or she has long, straight, um, curly. What else? What? How? Oh, oh um, this, this. She is... has a has, uh, hair. She has what? Hair. I'm sorry. What kind of hair? Curly speak, uh, maybe the color, red. Oh, the color, right. Black. black. Sorry. Usualmente damos más de una descripción referente al pelo, porque el pelo puede tener diferentes formas y colores. Mm -hmm. Right? That's Curly, what I'm trying speak, to say. Speak, uh, so, so black, options. black, red. Oh, that's color. Yeah, that's the color. It could be black, red, black, red. blonde, blonde, blonde. Uh -huh. blonde hair, blonde. Pero en cuanto a la forma, long, straight. Oh, and what else? Uh, there is another way of saying this. Wavy, long, wavy, wavy. Ondulado. You know? Uh huh. Ondulado. Very good. So largo, eh, recto. O sea, como planchado, colocho, puntiagudo. Han visto que los bichos se ponen en gel y se hacen en las puntas, ¿verdad? Right? Wavy, ondulado. Ahora bien, ojo con esto, siempre tengo que terminar con el noun. Recuerden que todo, en inglés, todo lo que califica el nombre viene antes de él. Entonces yo podría fácilmente describir el pelo. Y decir, his hair, I'm sorry, he has, um, let's picture it, red, curly, oh, ya me complique. red, curly, long, oh, oh yeah, 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 short hair, like that. And he's not his, I'm sorry, he. He has red, curly, short hair. Red, curly, short hair. She has blonde, straight, long hair. Like that. Ahora bien, o sea, ocurre lo contrario del español, ¿no? En español diría, ella tiene el pelo eh, rubio, eh, planchado, recto, no sé, ajá, largo. Pelo largo, rubio y liso. That's the word. Liso. ¿Ok? Pasa lo opuesto, ¿no? En el español primero digo el nombre y luego califico y en inglés es lo opuesto. Todo lo que califica el nombre va antes, ¿ok? Ok, good. So, any questions? No question, teacher. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Wilbur, can you describe El Mundo? 
Ok. Good evening. Uh, El mundo, he is um, talk on um, one seven zero. Um, uh, Freddy. No, perdón, este. <laughs> <risa> ya le dijeron bonita no, no, sí, sí, sí. no este, handsome sí, ajá divertido cómo sería eh, funny, se funny. good job eh, funny but funny um, good man he's a good man okay good okay Now, talking about the age, talking about the age, we can also include other categories. Baby, child, teenager, um, young adult. That's me, young adult. That's us, actually, young adult. Middle-aged, as we saw yesterday. middle-aged or elderly, okay? A mí no me gusta decir old, viejo, no, es anciano, elderly. So, de nuevo, bebé, niño o niña, joven, adulto joven, middle-aged, de edad media, ya en los 40, ¿verdad? okay? Elderly, anciano, y old que ya es para alguien viejo. Hay una más que ocupan los americanos mucho. Um, and that's a U.S. citizen. Uh, senior. Dicen, se llaman senior citizen. I think that's the way. Senior citizen. Let me correct my grammar. My spelling. So, yeah, senior citizen. Esto se referencia a de la tercera edad también, pero así se llaman ellos, señores. Señores, ya, ciudadanos, señores, mayores. Uh, no sé si han visto en la gasolinera, creo que ustedes saben para qué sirve el metro que está fuera en la puerta, ¿verdad? Que está por la parte interior de la puerta, a ver si lo saben. <risa> ¿No se han fijado que en las puertas de la gasolinera hay un metro? Hay un, o sea, un metro de medida. ¿No? Y está en pies y en metros. En serio, no, no sabían. Ok. En Estados Unidos es una regla general que yo creo que las gasolineras la, la han adoptado acá también. Es como una norma general. Hay como 10 cámaras adentro en, en los techos de la gasolinera, ¿no? Si alguien se mete a robar, eh, ¿qué es lo primero que ustedes re recolectan como agentes? la descripción de la persona que entró a robar. Entonces, una cosa muy importante es que la cámara capte cuando uno va saliendo, la cámara puede definir qué altura tenía la persona. ¿Eh? <ríe> Interesting, right? So, uh, yo trabajaba para una empresa que se llama 7-Eleven en Estados Unidos. Hay miles de tiendas en Estados Unidos de esas. Y es bien común que la gente llegue, agarra cosas y se va. Es, uh, ¿Cómo se le llama ese delito? Hurto, ¿no? Yes. ¿Sí? yes. So that, that's, that's, yeah, that's theft. That's theft. So thieves are, are very common. Very common thing. Y lo primero que hacíamos era preguntarle al dependiente de la tienda cómo era la persona. Describe him, right? They used to do it a lot. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? I want you to tell me just for 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes, uh, I need you to describe your dream girl or dream boy, okay? What? Yes. Tell me about your dream girl or dream boy, what we call it. Teacher, yo no escucho nada porque está lloviendo. Okay, so sorry to hear that. 
tell me about your dream. No, no, no. We'll be describe, describe your dreams, girl or boy. Okay. For example, okay, she, in my case, right, she is British, let's say British, okay, she is British, she has red hair, I'm going to describe the hair a little bit more, Red, curly, long, very, very long. Red, curly, very long hair. She is white and has blue eyes. Okay, she is in her 30s. And is always smiling. I'm going to say, and always smiles. And always smiles. Mm, what else? What else? What else? Oh, very important. She is tall and thin. Okay. That's my dream girl. <laughs> okay now let's do something go to the zoom chat to make it easier for you para hacerlo más fácil. go to the zoom chat and describe your dreams girl or boy here on the zoom chat Okay, excellent. My dream is finish building my house. Describe people. <ríe> Vamos a describir a alguien, uh, todos, eh, todos en el, en el chat de Zoom. Necesito una descripción similar a la que les he puesto acá de ejemplo. Si la ven. O sea, describir los sueños de alguien, no los de uno. I'm sorry. Siento, se me olvidó. Um, describir a la chica o al chico de tus sueños. Mm. Uh -huh. O pueden hacerlo, <risa> pueden hacerlo con su persona <risa> favorita. Su tío, su tía, o su mamá, su esposa, su hijo o hija. El punto es describir de a una tercera persona utilizando lo que hemos visto. She is, she has. Eh, mientras que ustedes escriben, yo les explico. No puedo decir ella es, eh, perdón, ella es pelo rojo. Ella es pelo rojo con ocho muy largo, por ejemplo. Right? Tengo que ocupar has. Ella tiene pelo rojo, colocho y muy largo. Donde mm -hmm. más? She has. Ah, los ojos. She has blue eyes. No digo she is blue eyes. No, ella es 
ojos azules, no. Ella tiene ojos azules. ¿Ok? Y esos dos atributos, eh, si quisiera hablar de las orejas, que tiene grandes orejas, también tendría que decir tiene, no es. Um, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Tiene manos, lar manos grandes, manos pequeñas, manos bonitas, tendría que ocupar ella tiene, ¿ok? Ojo con eso. Good ever. Ok, she's American. Buena, buena candidata ahí para hacerse americano. Very good. She's American. <ríe> Ciudadanía automática. Good job. Mientras escriben, buena, buena recomendación. Si se van para Estados Unidos alguna vez, cáncense con una gringa de todos modos. Pues sí. Okay. Come on, continue ever. She's American. Is she white? Is she tall? Does she have blue eyes? Let me help you. Okay, let's see, Jose Benjamin. She's Salvadorian, good job. She has short and light hair. Mm, short and light hair. Light, así como liviano, o sea, tiene poco pelo, pelo fino, okay. She has white skin and mm, light eyes. Ojos claros. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Es que light es como liviano, como suave, se puede interpretar. She's very beautiful, sí. okay. She's my wife, okay. Hey, that's nice, very good. She's my wife, okay. He has black and long hair. Okay. Give me more, give me more, says, yeah, describe more. Ever, she's American, she has black, straight, long hair. She is white. And has green eyes. Oh my God. She's in her 20s. And never goes out. I said, yeah, it never goes out ever. She's tall and pretty. Good job. Hey, Jose Milcar. She is Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Okay. She has straight brown hair. She has white skin. She has beautiful eyes. Excellent. Good job. Hey, very nice. Bien, mientras hago la asistencia, continúen con sus descripciones ahí en el chat. Luego las leo una vez haya pasado la asistencia. Comprendo que todos o la mayoría están practicando para el 15 de septiembre. Don't worry, no se preocupen. Solo si pueden decirme here. Or present, se lo voy a agradecer. Y si, y si el compañero no puede contestar y ven que ahí está, me ayudan, por favor. You are too many. So we're, 
We're on Tuesday 12. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Arles Ernesto López. I think Arles was around here. No. Okay. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Baudilio, Baudilio, Baudilio. No, let's see him. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo, Carlos Alberto. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw him. Sí, ahí está, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Excellent. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Excellent. Ajá, no puede escuchar. Okay, David Antonio Rosales García. Está conectado, teacher. Ahí está, teacher. Yeah, I don't see him. Okay, good. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Está conectada también, teacher. Thank you. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present teacher. Por ahí está el niño. <ríe> Enrique Pérez Lemos. Enrique Pérez Lemos. No. Ok. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Present teacher. Excelente. Evan Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ever Francis Alvallero. Francis. No. no, verdad, ok. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. No. Ok. He Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Thank you. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Jose Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Good. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Present teacher. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Present teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Monica, Monica. Presente. There Presente. you are. Thank you. Está Os... conectada también Cedillos. Sí, sí. Ajá. Oscar Susana Castani... Castellano. Oscar Susana, Susana eh, tengo ratos de no ver a don Oscar por acá. Él va, dir él va dirigiendo la banda, ah, teacher. Uh. Va a ser imposible que se conecte. Sí. <ríe> ok. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos, hoy sí no se conectó. Ok. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Ahí lo veo. Present, teacher. Excellent. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. And Salvador Manrique Hernández Vasquez. No. Okay. Good. Let me go back to the chat. Let's see. Okay. He stole white skin, says yeah. Give me more. He is very tall. Okay. He is handsome. Thank you. Maria de Lourdes. Let's see. He has brown eyes. He has a, a mustache. He has a mustache. He has mustache. Nah. He is white. He is serious. Serious. Aquí es lo que les decía. Si hay una O U S, me olvido de la O. Okay. Serious. Okay. Jealous. Ejemplos. He has black hair. See, he's in his fifties. He is in his fifties. He's in his fifties. So, very simple. What are we going to do next? Ah, oh, but okay. Bueno, vamos a hacer el intento de, de practicar en grupos pequeños, que es como algo muy importante que debemos de hacer. 
So, le voy a dividir y procuren practicar eh, describing someone you admire. Okay? Hay que describir a alguien que ustedes admiren. Um, así como lo hizo Ever, por ejemplo. Okay, or who was it? She's my wife, he said. Jose Benjamin decía, uh -huh. she's Salvadorian, she has short and light hair. She's my wife. Ever Benjamin described his wife. So you can describe anybody, whoever you want. Ahora, dentro de la descripción, lo que va a hacer su compañero es responder con preguntas. Okay, does she have, le podría decir a José Benjamín, is she Salvadorian? Is she, shall, is she Salvadorian? Okay. La yes. siguiente es, uh -huh. yes, right, José Benjamín. Does she have short and light hair? That. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. <laughs> does she have <laughs> white skin and light eyes? Yes, she does. Okay. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> uh huh. Is she very beautiful? Oh, muy beautiful. <laughs> okay. Is she your wife? Is she oh, your yes. wife? Oh, yes. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Is she your daughter? Is she your cousin? Is he your father? Is she your mother? So, okay. espero que hayan comprendido. Vamos a describir a alguien que admiramos de nuestra familia o alguien que conocemos. Y luego la persona nos va a re responder con las preguntas a cada cosa que dijimos, ¿ok? So, okay. let's try to practice. Sé que la mayoría está ocupado, so voy a hacer solamente tres grupos grandes. Y dentro de ese grupo, pues, los que puedan hablar entre sí lo, lo hacen. Ahí voy a estar yo, ¿ok? Let's go. Okay, Wilber, describe. Describe Hi, me. Or describe your, or ask me. I'm sorry, no, no listen. Uh, ask me. Yeah, ask me. No, oh, you can go ahead and describe uh, first. Yeah. Describe first and they can ask you. Oh, you already? You did. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to describe uh, the people. Hi, Edmundo. Describe, Hi. Describe your Hi. boss. Uh, he, is to, uh, he is tall, uh, very kind. Um, uh, she, is, she has a, a short uh, brown hair. Yeah. Sometimes he he wear glasses. Yeah. I don't know more. What about you? Can you describe your uh, your last what your last uh, uh, song or your last uh, I don't know. Yeah. Or another 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 member of your family. Whatever you want. Mm, okay. My um, my mother. Okay, go ahead. She's very tall. 
she has uh, she has um, brown eyes she she's uh, she's salvadorian 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has black hair black and hair. and long, wavy, curly, straight, straight, straight hair. Okay, only. <laughs> can you can you describe it? She has to. It's a good day. Tomorrow is a good day. Good day. Yeah. Good. Um. This chair. Este, la pronunciación de cansado. Tired. Pero en la escritura dice tired. Correcto. Tired. Tired. Ajá. Ahora, la lengua viene hacia atrás. Tired. 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 Perfect. Tired. Entonces sería oh. I am tired. tired. I'm, I'm tired. I am I'm tired. tired. Unámoslo. Uh, contractamos. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. he, he, he has short eyes. What? He has short eyes. He, he, he's... he's tired. I'm tired. Eso como que es, yo estoy cansada, ¿verdad? No. No. Yeah, ¿verdad? Yep. Yes. But you need to describe someone you admire. Tienen que escribir a alguien que usted admira. O alguien de su familia. Eh, Tiche, yo estoy tratando de la manera y acaban de venir unos parientes y están pasando esta entonces Entonces, estoy viendo que me describan cómo está. Por ejemplo, quiero decirle si ella tiene el cabello corto, como vienen enfermos. Entonces, por eso que estoy tratando de describir a las personas que están con ellos y haciéndole preguntas. Eso es lo que estoy tratando. No, hombre, invénteselo, Benjamín, no hay problema. Ah, vaya, está bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, vamos a inventarlo. Dale todas las preguntas tú. Ok. Permítame, permítame. Uh -huh. Go, go was is the no, si así es. Go, go, go was it no. ¿Cómo te fue ahora? Eh, no, pero estamos describiendo, no. utilizando lo que está en el WhatsApp, eh, describiendo las características físicas de una persona. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, voy a WhatsApp. Oh. She has. He, uh, por ejemplo, uh, he is American or USA. Ah, vaya. Póngase difícil, señor. How old is she? She is. No, sería, she has, she has um, 50, 54 old. Ah, entonces ocupa el verbo to be. She is 54 years old. She is. She is. Es que va a decir she is. She has, o sea, pero es que ella tiene. Ah, 
sí, suele ocurrir eso, ¿no? Porque en español así decimos, tiene uh tantos -huh. años. En inglés es ocupa de, el verbo to be. Cero es estar. De, okay. She is 24 years old. She's, she is, she is 24. 54. A veces incluso, uh, José Milcar, no es necesario years decir, old. no es necesario decir years old. Si está en el contexto de la, de la conversación, que estoy hablando de la edad de alguien, con solo decir el número, ¿no? Ok, thank you. Sí, she's 54. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. He has red hair. Excuse me? He has red hair. Eh, not. She is. No, sería, she has. Does she have. Does she have red hair? No. She. No. She doesn't. She doesn't. She has brown brown hair. hair. She has brown hair. Okay. Pregunta me. How tall is she? <laughs> How qué? How tall is she? Eh, is tall medium she is one meter fifty eh, one meter forty Okay. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo que se decía centímetro? Centímetros. 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 Arriba decía yo centímetros. 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 What color is his hair? What color is his hair? Me no entender. <laughs> color, hair, red, brown, uh, black. No, <laughs> como ya había dicho que era, era brown. Sí, le había preguntado si tenía. Hoy estoy preguntando de qué color es. <laughs> ok. <laughs> What color is his hair? Otra. She has long hair. It's much long hair. Much. Es muy largo. It's very. It's very long. It's very long. Very, very long. <laughs> It's very long. It's very, 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 uh -huh. very, very long. Very. Uh -huh. It's very long. Very long. Good job. Good job. It's very long. Okay. What It's does she is look like? It's a beautiful hair. She has beautiful hair. She has beautiful hair. What does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? It's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, wait. She has a fantastic look. Ella tiene un look fantástico.
Okay, let's go back. Hay que volver. Bien, eh, va a haber tarea esta noche. Esto es bien básico, lo que estamos viendo. Debería de ser. Es el verbo to be, sujeto, verbo to be, adjetivo. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Si se fijan en su WhatsApp, les he puesto ocho imágenes. Vamos a comenzar con Britney Spears. Si se fijan, en la imagen dice, I am beautiful and young. I am short and slim. I have shoulder length, straight, blonde hair and brown eyes. I am quiet and sad. I'm Britney Spears. So, who can say that in third person? ¿Quién no podría hacer eso en tercera persona? Third person, Britney Spears. Ya no diría I am. He is beautiful and young. Excellent, Jose Benjamin. She's beautiful and young. Continue. Uh, she is short and slim. Mm -hmm. uh, she has short Oh, wait, 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 wait. She mm -hmm. has. She has. She has short legs, slim, broad hair, and broad eyes. Eyes. And broad eyes. Sí. Uh -huh. She is cute. And sad. Quiet, quiet, I'm sorry, quiet and sad. Why am the sad? She's quiet uh, and sad. She's quiet and sad. Uh, she am. Um, she is? No, she is Britney Spears. Britney Spears, okay. Más o menos. Sí, no, perfecto. Remember, para que no se les olvide eso de eyes, acuérdense de tun 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 Wilberg, uh-huh. <laughs> Ice, ice, baby. Baby. Uh -huh. Ice, ice. <risa> right. Okay. La, música, la música es bien pegajosa y hay que saberla utilizar. A mí me pasa lo inverso. Ustedes dicen una palabra y me recuerdo una canción y estoy con la canción en la cabeza durante las clases. Ok. Good. Let's go with the next one. We have Will Smith. Will He Smith. is good looking and young. He is tall and dink. Repeat. Tall. Tall. Uh, T-O-L. Tall. No, sin acá. Tall. Tall. And, and thing. And thing. Z-I-N. Thing. Think. Sin acá. Thing. Tall and think. Ajá, es haciendo think. un sonido al final. Ah, eso. Very good, Wilbur. Continue. He has short, curly, black hair and black eyes. Ah, tan 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 tan. tan. Oh, yeah. Eyes. Eyes. Re remember, he has. Cuando es tercera he persona, he has. Eyes. Short. Okay. Curly. Uh -huh. Black hair. Um, black eyes. Good. And he is? He is intelligent and serious. He is William Smith. <laughs> Good job. Bien, los demás se los dejo para que practiquen. Y ya cuando lleguen a Angelina Jolie, Alanis Morissette, George Clooney, and Queen Latifa, puedan ustedes practicar ahí lo que hace falta en cada uno, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.